Happy Halloween, everyone, from the garden. Today, I wanna take a video to say goodbye to a lot of these plants that I have growing in the garden because the National Weather Service has predicted some frost. So the temperature is going to go down low enough tomorrow night that we will um, lose quite a few things. So today I'm out to just document what I have here. Now look at these roses. This is called ketchup and mustard. And these are absolutely beautiful. Now I thought I killed this plant by accident uh, and I, I cut it back and I, I said a couple of prayers and I put some fertilizer in here and lo and behold, it's coming back but I don't know if it is going to survive the frost tonight. But what I do know is not going to survive the frost is this beautiful castor, and I have another one over there. And I don't think my my morning glories over here will, and I also have them over there as well. I don't think that they're gonna make the frost. So I'm out here to pick off all the peppers that are ready. And there's some over there in that bed as well, I think. And then just take a final look at everything and honor it for the year because it'll be the last time I see these. Um, when I wake up on November 2nd, they will be dead and I will be sad because they have been with me since last winter, but I have their babies. I have collected their seeds. So let's see if we can take a look. No seeds there. That's the start of some seeds, but some of the other uh, casters that I've had. Now this is again, like I said, it's the giant caster. And those are the seed pods that won't make it, but other seed pods have, and I've collected them and stored them. And then I have the Zanzibar caster right here. This plant is beautiful. And then I have an Impala caster over there. I'm just really nuts about these casters. Can you tell? All right, so I'll get off the caster wagon right for the, the moment and show you these beautiful morning glories. Now this worked out the exact way I wanted it to. I planted a whole bunch of varieties here and you can see there's a few varieties. Not all of the varieties survived, but there's about four, I think. I think I planted nine different varieties of morning glories and I wanted them to do this and they did. And then also the same thing of course, we're gonna pass by the caster. There it is. Now look how beautiful that is. It's enormous. It didn't get as tall this year as the one did last year. And I think because I planted it a little bit later. So I do have to work on the timing of when to get that in the ground so it grows. But you can see there are the, um, those are the seed pods of the, Zan no, this is the Impala caster. And so I'll also be picking this now because I don't want that to get damaged in the frost. And there's my beautiful, beautiful morning, morning glories over there. And that also did work out the way that I had wanted it to. Filling in on this side, I have, they're done for the year. I have um, cardinal flower for all the hummingbirds. They love this. And it all grew in like I wanted it to. I also have the hyacinth beans over here that Thomas Jefferson grew in his garden. And of course, that's why I selected them. So right there are the hyacinth beans. And when they're dry like this, that's a dry one. And there's there might be quite a few out there. I've been picking them as they've been getting dry, but look at those beautiful seed pods and the flowers that come off of here are very pretty, but I think the flowers are done for the year. So I'll be harvesting the rest of those seeds so that I can grow this again. And then also you'll see in here, what well, these are the seeds for the morning glory. And I don't think the frost will damage them. I'm gonna let them stay and get dried. And a lot of seed pods here. And I also have some of the cucamelons still hanging around. But I do think that the frost will get the rest of them. Like the okra, I don't think the okra will last. And a lot of my pepper plants. So you can see I have some peppers here. 
if you can see them. I'll be picking them. And the garlic will be just fine in the frost. It'll be okay, it'll, it'll survive. You can see I have another rose over there. All right, what else? What else can we look at? Do we have anything in the other bed? Uh, a lot of the herbs here can tolerate um, coldness and I will be observing and always taking notes to see what temperature does kill off of the, some of these things. A lot of them come back from year to year like the sage. Some rosemary varieties do not come back. I chose that one because it is a variety that should come back. So that's the barbecue rosemary and then there's thyme that's golden oregano under there and they come back year to year. Now there's some parsley right there. I don't think that parsley is going to survive, but we are going to probably take another video on November 3rd, which is my birthday. Happy birthday to me. Uh, and we'll, we'll see what survived because they are anticipating the temperatures to be down in the twenties. So yesterday we had temperatures in the eighties and in another day, we're going to have a very cold, uh, night so that that's going to affect these guys so we'll take another video just to see how it makes out and of course i'm always cleaning up out here you can see a, an obnoxious amount of leaves and uh, it is a lot of work but i do use them for um, compost and to amend the soil with some brown material and i use that as mulch all right, so there's some other things out front, but we'll just look at what's out here. It's so pretty. And I really am just so thankful to have the opportunity to watch everything in my garden grow. And we do need to have these frost because it does clear out a lot of the vegetation so that regrowth can happen. So without having the die off, we can't really have the regrowth. Oh, I see a tomato. Look at that bonus. Wow, there's still a tomato. Look at that. So I'll be picking all that as soon as I end this video. Look at them, weren't they so pretty? So I don't know if, if they're gonna make it. So we'll see. We'll see what makes it and what doesn't. All right, so until the next video, I hope you have a happy Halloween. Bye-bye.